All right. Well, I'm super excited about 2017. A lot of really cool stuff coming up. And I'm so excited that this week was supposed to be about goals for this year. And I've written up 95% of my goals for this year. The problem is there's not a really good way to show you my goals and track my goals with video. So in my excitement for 2017, I decided to build a website that will accompany the video series. And I'm in the process of building that and getting it up and going and putting the goals out there so I can check each of my goals off as I reach them. Um, and then I'll host the latest episode of, of Quiet Please on the website as well as YouTube. Um, but I sort of wanted to take this to the next level and I think getting a website going is, is important to, to helping me track all of my statistics for this year and my goals and potentially do a few things that I've been uh, brainstorming about. So this week's episode, unfortunately, is just me telling you that I'm super excited and I'm putting a website up, which is why I haven't had a chance to film an actual episode. And uh, But I will tell you guys that I weighed in on Wednesday and I was at 258.5, so we, we've broken that 260 barrier our next milestone is 249. Um, hoping to get that around the middle of. Hoping to get that around the middle of February. Be going to Chicago in the middle of February. Um, so I'm hoping by that trip I'm at 249 or better. We'll see. Basketball league starts next week, so I'll probably be a little more active than normal, which is great. Um, I also want to say that there's some changes happening to my weight loss goals in general. At the beginning of this, I said I wanted to do I wanted to be 220 pounds by May like 8th, whenever the US Open qualifier is. That's changing. And it's changing because I'm finding myself fixated on that number. And it is, it's a number that I want to get to, and I will get to that eventually. In fact, I'm going to get even lower than that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that goal. 220 is not a goal anymore. I'm going to work with shorter, shorter term goals, smaller goals. So the current goal is 249.9. And then after that, it'll be 239.9. And if I keep doing that and progressing... It doesn't matter what my weight is when I hit May 8th. Um, it is what it is. Because I have some loftier goals. And by the end of this year and then sometime next year. Which are, which are I'm going to reach. And when I reach those, it's going to be unbelievable. I'm going to, be a, I'm going to look like a completely different person than when I started this. And when I started losing weight back in 2012. So anyways, guys. Um, again, thanks for all the support. Last video got almost 100 views. I love it. Um, super happy that I'm able to, to reach out to people. I hope if you're listening to this and you follow this channel, I hope that I help motivate you or inspire you or do something to get you up and moving and working towards the right direction. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking next week will be like the episode where I, I go through each of my goals and then I also show you the website. And I think it's going to be great because I'm going to be able to check each of my goals off, off of a list and the website will track that and it'll track when I was able to accomplish those goals. Um, and then I've got a lot of other stuff. My bucket list courses will be listed on there, some different potential like teachings and stuff like that for golf will be on the website and uh, just really trying to take this to the next to the next level so thank you so much and uh, I will talk to you guys uh, next week